eligible. Uh, there will be three rounds. And between each round, there will be a chance for rebuttal. Each round, uh, each person will have two minutes to present their argument. Um, the coin toss goes to the team unstoppable who will be arguing first. So whenever you're ready, you are ready. Okay, good afternoon. My team will be um, arguing, arguing against the motion and a few topics or key arguments that I would like to state are um, how is it logical to give up rights that were fought for Rights are privileges. Why would you want those taken away? And another one is that the right to bear arms, Second Amendment, gives me the right to protect myself. What in the mess? You're trying to stop terrorists from hurting me when I can protect myself with the Second Amendment. Also, there's a quote from Benjamin Franklin, one of our presidents, um, and he says something along these lines that safety is not an achievable desire, which means you can never be too safe. You can't be safe because how are you to tell me that nobody or anybody will not find a way to hurt me or to do crime? Therefore, safety is not achievable. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay, so, um, First, I'd like to say that um, one of the main amendments in the other team's argument is the Second Amendment. Um, July 4th, 1776, America was founded. The Bill of Rights was put in as the first 10 amendments. The Second Amendment is the right to bear arms. They didn't, when they had the right to bear arms, they didn't believe that um, people would have heavy artillery weapons. Um, yes, back then when they were fighting the war, um, we they had rifles, so they had no idea that people were gonna go out um, with these easily reloadable guns. They had to, they had those guns where you had to like take the powder and then you had to stick it in there. It took extra long to reload. They didn't, they didn't have those um, big old fast loading, um, fast shooting guns. So we can take, we can take away the right to bear arms. Everything has evolved to the diff to the different scale that needs to be that um that needs to be multiplied with the um with the amount of the amendments need to be multiplied so we need to take some of the away in order to multiply them because th our founding fathers didn't have any idea what it would be like to have these kind of weapons and things um we misuse we misuse some of our rights so we should take them away. Um, as an example, a month ago, I did something I was not supposed to do. My parents, um, my parents said, okay, you did, you did this, you did this, so we're taking this away. If we misuse our rights, why should we have them? Thank you. Okay, first thing I would like to say is, um, Micah, America was not founded July 4th, 1776. That's when the Declaration of Independence was out. So, he said we should take away the Second Amendment. 
Well, here's why we shouldn't take away the Second Amendment, because one, history repeats itself. So it, say instead of, you know, Britain, um, Korea comes. So like, what are we gonna do for protection? Like, what if they come into our houses and then start ordering us around? What are we gonna do? Exactly, we can't do anything because you know, you took away that right. And yeah. And how are taking away our rights going to prevent Korea from sending their missile? Or, <laughs> and um, my partner, did not mean that Benjamin Franklin was the president. She meant he could have been president. And uh, as she said before, people willing to <coughs> people willing to give up their freedom for temporary security deserve neither and will lose both. Basically, saying if you're willing to give up your security, you don't deserve either or. You don't deserve either or. Um, thank you. First off, I want to start off by saying that the people that they were talking about who stated that if you give your security, you're a fool and stuff like that, that was like centuries ago that they were alive. And some of the rights that we have, we necessarily don't need, as in housing of soldiers. We don't really need that because that doesn't even take effect anymore. And as in, right, that we, as in we have the right to drink alcoholic beverages, that, that just gives us, that doesn't, har that doesn't help us at all except give us pleasure. And I'd rather have people more lives than have pleasure because if we take the if we have pleasure as in drinking alcohol which then after they leave wherever they're from they get in the cars and they drive off and they get in crashes and kill people but if we never had the right to drink alcoholic beverages in the first place we probably save hundreds of lives and going back to uh, what uh, the other team said about the uh, Korea missiles we weren't never talking about that and mm, that's my argument okay so if we take our way our rights then um secure the people the people in the department of security will abuse our their opportunity when they take away our rights also if we lose basic freedom stated in the con if we lose basic freedoms stated in the Constitution, then what is so great about America? The reason we're proud to be American is because we are free. <coughs> and, uh, I'm against our government turning against us, wh us while fighting for foreign enemies. We shouldn't have to go through the stress of wondering if the government is listening to our private calls or reading my private emails. We can't protect ourselves from every single threat, so if you're taking away our rights, we're not being <coughs> protected. I'd like to see the government accept that and take more normal measures towards protecting us. <coughs> what terrorists already living in the U.S. is going to discuss it beforehand? So, so like basically, if you're tapping into our, um, our like phone calls and emails, then what made you think that the terrorist was texting about how he was going to bomb the um, Boston Marathon? I find it hard to believe that I'm currently getting security when my rights are being taken away. Thank you. Okay. First, I want to say, we should give up our constitutional rights. Well, some of them. Because there are a lot of people that are crazy and they go around, could you please be quiet? And they go around hurting people for no reason. And if we had more, if we had a more um, and a better, if we had more and a better security system, then the amount of danger or crimes would decrease. Also, some of our constitutional rights are unnecessary, and we don't have to give up all of our constitutional rights. <clears throat> and so like, 
if we don't use the constitutional rights that are um, unnecessary, then it wouldn't matter if we gave them up. Um, security is more important than rights that we don't use, and taking well, giving up some rights is not the same is not the same as giving up all of your rights. And you can't name specific rights when you're talking about the whole con the whole constitution. Um, also, we're not taking away anybody's rights. So it's not like we're doing anything wrong. People are choosing to give up their rights. So it's their choice when they give up their rights to help other people. Um, <coughs> also, to go back to what Hayden said, first time she came up, there's no law preventing Korea from launching the missiles. And um, yeah, that's my argument. Thank you <coughs> for paying attention. All right. What rights, oh, sorry. I'm just, what rights should we take away that are going to protect us is the question that I would like to ask. Also, I agree that if we had a better security system, then the U.S. would be a safer country. And that security system is the amendments. Therefore, you shouldn't take them. And just, just, just an, another little thing to point out. Freedom. Is what we need in quote unquote, a free country. That's what America is. And if you living in America, then you need freedom. All right. Okay, so Trinity, um, to answer your question, would you just ask, what rights do we need to protect ourselves? Well, we need um, only some rights, like Second Amendment, 13th Amendment, stuff like that. Um, okay, so, in freedom, in a free country, how are you going to force somebody, how are you going to have it in your constitution to force, um, to force a soldier to come in your house and eat you out of house or home where, while you're dressing their wounds? How is that freedom? Okay, and um, right here, one right here, right here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, um, so, and Peyton said, um, that's why we're proud to be Americans. Well, we're proud. We're mostly proud to be Americans because most of the other countries and continents are jacked up. Like Africa, um, they ha they're having financial problems in Africa. Europe is mostly a vacation place. Asia, um, too much dictatorship. Australia, who lives there? And um, nobody lives in Antarctica. And that's my argument. So, There's no law that forces a soldier to come in your house and eat you out of home. It's a law that says, it's, it says that it's, it's called the housing of, soldier, housing of soldiers. And that means that soldiers can, soldiers can come in your house and reside there if they need to. 
and that is good. We just celebrated more Memorial Day, which is a day of uh, giving honor to our soldiers who fight for us. They should have the right to come in our houses and use the bathroom or take a nap or something like that if they're putting their lives in danger so we can use the bathroom and talk and stuff. I mean, not in stuff. Um, and you're s and okay, so you're saying that taking away some of our rights will make it a safer country. That's false. Taking out, taking away our rights will make it a more a more dangerous country because if we take away guns, only criminals will have guns, and that's the same thing with our rights. If we take away our rights, there will be more criminals. They'll riot to give us our rights back or whatever rights we take away, and they'll riot, and that is more dangerous. Therefore, the country will be more dangerous. Um, and we have very great security for the U.S., so why should we take away our rights to make it a so-called safer country? Other countries rarely attack America, and that could be, could because, could be because of our location, or it could be because of our great security. Our great security. If you know someone has the right to bear arms or carry a gun, if you know that, uh, you wouldn't attack them because they can hurt you. So that makes the U.S. a safer country. Bear for me. Okay, let's get serious. Okay, um, so what Christian just said, yes, he is very right. Countries rarely attack us, so why do we need the right to bear arms? Um, and look, housing the soldiers, soldiers can come in your house, but how is America going to make a law and not follow a law? Let me tell you how they're not following the housing the soldiers law. Tell me, what people housed black soldiers in the Civil War? What people housed black soldiers in a 13th North Carolina regiment in the Civil War? I want to know that. I want to know who housed those soldiers. And housing the soldiers in the Bill of Rights. They can't say, we didn't make that amendment yet. So, um, the if you ha and um, like some of the rights we don't need. I mean, seriously, why would you make an amendment that repealed prohibition? Then, like, for real, you might as well take off um, re repealing prohibition. It's just a relic now, and take off the um, and take off pro um, take off the people, take off the prohibition amendment because if you have the prohibition amendment. Um, people drink and drive, like Isaac said. Um, too many, too many deaths, and um, we we don't follow our rights. Like America says, wear a seatbelt, and then we don't wear a seatbelt. We don't wear a seatbelt. We don't even wear our seatbelts every day. Every day I'm driving to school. I have to see that billboard. Don't forget to wear your seatbelt. How, this many, dr blank many driving deaths this year. For real? Wear your seatbelts. We need, so we have to give up some of our rights if we're not going to use them. Thank you.